As the shadow of the moon floats its way diagonally across the country on April 8th from Texas to Maine, the western edge of the tri-state will go dark at about 3 p.m. For how long depends on where you are. The shadow is 100 miles wide and will hit Oxford, Hamilton, Middletown, and Dayton, but only for a minute or so. If you want the maximum duration of darkness, which lasts about four minutes, you'll want to be in the center of the path in towns like Richmond, Greenville, Piqua, Troy, and Sydney. That means that for those who do not already live there, Ohio Emergency Management expects you'll be driving there. We're somewhere in the path of 125,000 to 500,000 additional visitors, and there's 7.2 million Ohioans in uh, living inside the path uh, of totality as well. The potential for galactic gridlock heading up I-75 and onto all the highways that cross it prompted emergency services to urge drivers to prepare. And include items like paper maps, snacks, drinks, cash, a cell phone charger, blankets, and certainly remember to pack your patients in your vehicle's preparedness kit as well. You know the why of the warnings if you were part of the mob of humanity that descended on towns like Hopkinsville, Kentucky for the 2017 eclipse. Some people were stuck on the interstate for hours. In the effort to avert that kind of chaos, the Highway Patrol is warning people to get to their viewing destinations early because stopping at the side of the road, especially the interstate, will cause problems. If you're stopping on the side of the road, we're going to issue citations. If you're pedestrian on the side of the highway, we're going to give you a citation. And ODOT says it would be a good idea to stick around for a while after the sun reappears. Once this eclipse is over, a lot of people are going to try to leave right at that moment. So the best thing people can do is maybe take an extra day, take some time so that they're not in the middle of that traffic rush. Perhaps catch some rays. After all, you'll already be wearing the glasses. David Winter, Local 12 News. You can always get local stories right here on YouTube, but go ahead and hit that subscribe button to get notifications to stay in the know.